They got stable air. They were checking out the Iwami Tier 8 Japanese Battleship, the new campaign reward ship, of course. We got Takagi. I'm not, not really in love with any of these Japanese Battleship builds. I was looking to try and come up with something unique for this, but half the commanders are like airplane-centric and... Uh, I don't know. Not a lot of good options for Japanese battleships for these type of ships that need a big boost in aim, right? Uh, you know, the battleships. And I got a couple games here. This one's my first one, as you can tell by the shell selection and the <laughs> widespread torps there. Um, but, you know, there's some of the Japanese battleships that seem to aim fairly decently. Amagi comes to mind. Um, certainly Hayuga, but that's kind of a specialized premium one. But a lot of the tech tree ones are, the randomization of their shots is crazy among the worst in the game, which is why I don't really like to play a lot of those type of ships. Uh, this one's definitely one of those. And are the guns super hard hitting? I don't know, they're 410 millimeters. Uh, they do reload very quickly, which is nice. 22 and a half seconds with good traverse, 26.2. Um, but the damage, you know, we're not slapping things around this generally. You can get some decent Citadel shots once in a while, but against battleships, I'm not finding that to be reliable unless we're really close. Um, I think perhaps the penetration drops off a little bit. Uh, I think the overmatch on 410s, I want to say, is 28 millimeters. Uh, so we're definitely not slapping through uh, angled battleships by any means, but even with appropriate aim points, I'm wondering if the shells are having trouble penetrating the Citadel at range. More testing is needed. I've played 12 games so far in this thing. And, you know, I was thinking, well, let's just keep playing until we get a decent game. We can still talk about the ship's deficiencies, even if we put some good fittings together. Uh, but, yeah, I've kind of had enough <laughs> playing this ship already, to be honest with you. You guys are always, I think a lot of you guys are always looking for opportunities for campaigns to skip, right? Um, maybe you just want to take a break from the game for a little bit, or maybe work on something else. Just grinding credits, or just kind of goofing off, doing whatever, testing out something grinding a new line, whatever it is, um, rather than focus on the campaign. This might be one of them. There's a lot of tier 8 battleships already, and in fact we got two Japanese uh, battleships. The, uh, whatever the tech, <laughs> tech tree one is, it doesn't, uh, Azumo, I think. And then Musashi as well, which is, Musashi's way better than this. It's just hands down um, not a comparison. Now you can see on the screen right here, one of the perceived highlights of the ship torpedoes and they're not bad you know the long reload and we're talking 150 seconds so about two and a half minutes uh in between launches sure but you do have 15 knots on the range 67 knots that's not horrible uh detection ooh, 2.2 <laughs> kilometers i just noticed that uh no wonder i'm not hitting a lot with these things um <laughs> but you can you know i view torpedoes as like potential damage that exists on the board uh, it's very randomized whether it hits or not, uh, especially depending on how you're us using the torpedoes. But the ability to put out that long-range 15-kilometer, I mean, you can at least send shots across the map towards people that might uh, not be expecting them, or you can zone areas that you want to exert some form of control over, and torpedo presence, of course, is one form of control you can exert in this game. So it's got the reach, but I guess the detection combined with it's not super... Uh, fast 67 that used to be considered a little bit faster now a little bit more mundane you know not outstanding torpedo performance the launch angles not the worst you've ever seen but not outstanding either you do have to they are located in the rear there and you can see you do have to uh, show at least a 45 degree angle to launch directly at something there so uh, there's definitely potential costs on getting those torpedoes in the water you're going to want to be careful uh, as you can see there, we got punished uh, pretty egregiously um, for showing that angle. Just to get the torps off, which at that range are uh, relatively low uh, accuracy anyway. So you can consider that a plus or not. Um, so guns, yeah, damage output wise, not great, but you know that's balanced by the quick reload, quick traverse. Generally, you're not going to find a hard hitting ship with very quick reload. Generally, the harder or the higher the damage, the slower the reload. That's just kind of the uh, balancing factor. So guns will give a, eh, okay. Torpedoes, eh, okay. AA is pretty good, an 89 rating on there. And the concealment, 13.6. I'm finding a lot of these games I'm playing, I keep getting uh, my spotting dropped in the middle of the 
exchanges. All right, so I think compared to a lot of the other battleships, now I always use Concealment Mob that may be affecting that as well, but generally when I'm playing a lot of battleships, I'm not noticing, oh, I'm dropping spot in between every shot. This, it happens, um, you know, especially more towards the middle of the match when there's not as many uh, potential spotters and you're just kind of shooting at uh, targets in the open or whatever. So that's a decent thing. Now, turn. I put the prop on here because I'm a believer at this point in my uh, World of Warships Legends career where if I could spec all my ships over again for free, I would put a prop mod on all of them until it was proven that that's not a good uh, way to run it. And I got the prop mod on this thing. The turn still is pretty ponderous let's say all right 18 seconds on the rudder shift that's above the threshold that i usually want to shoot for uh 14 15 is a little bit more acceptable anything below that outstanding of course uh for a battleship but 18 seconds okay so perhaps we do need to forfeit the propeller or the prop mod on in this case but when you do that the start and the stop on these battleships especially at high tiers uh becomes laborious and you know the inability to quickly change direction, relatively speaking, uh, often can cost you, right? You need to be able to change your direction to either evade torpedoes or, like right here, if I didn't know the Amato was coming around here, uh, I would need to gun the uh, engine and try, try and stay alive. So there's, you know, if we don't have the propeller in there, the prop mod, uh, that becomes more difficult to do and less likely. So anyway... This one's on the border. I think the turn is pretty bad. Um, but I think it's just good enough that I'll probably leave it alone for now. Don't foresee myself playing the ship a lot to <laughs> try out different uh, combinations or whatever. But that's how I got it set up. That's what I think. So what's the scoop of the ship? It's a tier 8, which means we're going to be going against a lot of legendaries. And it's got the same armor scheme as the, uh, the Azumo, the tech tree uh japanese battleship but it does kind of feel like it gets slaps around like if you're in a open water kind of middle of the map spawn and you got a Yama, yamato or two um kind of interested in shooting at you it's not always that pleasant of an experience and you're kind of feeling like okay they can angle against me i can't protect myself i can't make the same play against them so of course you can say that for a lot of uh, battleships but it just kind of feels like anything uh grober montana whatever difficult time uh, dealing with those and in general i've had a lot of opportunities where you know i created crossfires or whatever um i'm thinking back to one game i probably should have found a footage of that one for this video as well um but even then like i had i got into a position where i had uh reliable broadsides against three battleships who were just kind of it would have it would have taken them a while to respond an angle like probably about a minute and a half or whatever and didn't wreck any of them maybe you got a twenty thousand hit here 20 you know and of course battleship shot results 12 games you're not going to know for sure exactly how they feel but these things feel less reliable than i'd like them to be even at kind of mid close or mid to mid range shots i should say um so i don't know i'm just not i don't like battleships that have randomized shots you know if you guys watch me play on the streams a lot I like ships like Warspy, Tayuga, uh, Gulio, certainly for the lower tiers. And some, you know, maybe some, uh, I don't really like <laughs> high tier battleships. I couldn't think of any that I like, but you know what I'm saying? Those are kind of the ships that are fun to play. This one, it's always like, all right, I got into a good position. I got the guy to make a mistake or uh, me and my team's position uh, working together, forced him into making an angling mistake. And we're still not able to punish it. Not saying you can't wreck people. I've certainly had some uh, relatively decent shots with this thing. Um, but not not as many as I'd like to have, you know. Like, that one's a decent shot there. But uh, most battleships are going to be able to hit that at that range. So, I don't know. I don't ever like to give buy or sell recommendations. Usually, I like to just kind of present, number one, my thoughts. And then, along with video footage where you can say to yourself, okay, that looks like something I could use or not you know and i'm not going to give you a strong buy or sell recommendation in this case either i'm just saying if you're looking for an excuse to skip a campaign this would probably be a good one to do you know like a couple campaigns ago hyuga yeah that'd be a dumb one to skip that's a damn good destroyer uh carno skippable awami is skippable you know so campaign reward ships about half of them tend to be pretty good half of them tend to be 
outright, which I think is good from a balance perspective. Um, but in terms of do you want to sell your soul to anything uh, to get this ship? Meh, probably not. So that's my opinion. What I like to get on these kind of review videos is a lot of comments from you guys, right? I've seen a fair amount of these out here, so I know some of you guys are already sporting the Iwami. Did I get it wrong? Uh, am I missing something? Or do your results vary? You let us know in the comments, or if you're saying, yeah, I, I got it. It's cool. It's in the port now, but mm, not the best <laughs> campaign reward ship. Just let us know, because that people can come here. They can watch what I have to say. They can see how I've managed to get it to work uh, in a short amount of play. But the more opinions, uh, the more informed everyone is. So that's what we like about the community here. A lot of good information uh, sharing in many different aspects. So anyway, I'll probably cut the commentary there. I think the game's going on for just a more, few more seconds. But that's my thoughts. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel. Consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys. And we'll see you all later. All right, peace.